Hello friends, today I am going to show you how to fail over the distributed availability uh, group from one uh, data center to another data center. Uh, here, uh, here we are in the official document. We have various DMVs are there. Okay, I will go. I will recommend you to go through all these uh, DMVs once and uh, documentation and everything. Uh, here in the internet, I found it the MS SQL tips website uh, for this handy. Let's enter in uh, my environment. See node 3 and node 4 as one cluster. Node 1 and node 2 are one part of the cluster. If you see here, so currently distributed AG, uh, like which is AG1 secondary, AG2 is uh, like you can AG2 is, which is configured with node 3 and node 2 is primary. If you go through node 3 here, AG2 is the primary. See? ag2 okay so uh, this is what uh, over you okay so now my requirement is so i am going to um, i want to fail over the distributed availability groups okay here i am having distributed availability groups so once i do fail over what is ag2 here, here we are seeing the primary right it has to become secondary and ag1 which is showing as secondary it has to be uh, show as a primary the same is also having this one okay now it has it here it is primary it has to be secondary so this is what uh, we need to do so one thing what we need to remember is dag will not support automatic failover that the first thing we need to remember the second thing is DAG will not support the failover using command, uh, sorry, using GUI and also you, uh, we can, it supports only failover using T-SQL with parameter of allow data loss. Okay, when you use this only, that failover will happen for DAG. That we need to remember. And before uh, failovering, we need to check the readiness and what is the last hardening file uh, lsn that we need to check and uh, the second thing is we need to change the distributed availability group into synchronous okay let's do that how we can do that so right now the node 3 is global primary okay so when i just i will show that uh, so i am showing here I'm having only two, uh, yeah, I'm having two da uh, uh, data centers. Okay, the same, uh, this is the, the diagram what you are seeing, the same I have configured in my lab. This is global primary, this is secondary, and this is, uh, in this data center, okay, this is like, you can consider, sorry, this is, yep, here you have, this has to be right, primary. Uh, in this, here uh, it is a primary for this uh, availability group, but, it is a global forwarder okay uh, yeah you can consider this is a global forwarder this image i have configured so forwarder for all the, for everything for distributed availability in separate it is called as a primary for this ag2 availability group okay so now let's check that availability uh, failover so what it is saying that here Modify the availability mode of primary in distributed availability group. So in the global primary, primary replica of primary, okay, primary replica of global primary, okay, primary availability group. So now copy, copy this command, go to node one, node one, node three. So how do I know that here you will see that AG2 is configured with node 3 and node 4. So if you see here, see node 3 is primary. So that that's how we need to consider this is as or we can see in the error log as well. Okay, so node 3 I am right now in node 3. So here you need to change distribute DAG. Okay, availability groups name AG1 ag2 so we need to change the mode to synchronous click execute this was done now modify the availability mode of availability group which is secondary 
availability group so it is saying that uh, run the same thing in the uh, this thing so copy the same command go to node 1 and see the which is primary so node 1 only so this is um, now this is secondary availability group and that in the secondary availability group node 1 is a forwarder okay so click execute i am changing the mode set so, done so now we have changed to the synchronous commit mode now i am closing this now we need to see the replica status and everything okay so see here manual and everything no problem we can uh, see that so go and run the in primary replica primary global primary see everything is healthy and healthy manual farewell mode is manual here healthy and healthy okay this is the la uh, last lsn six three something double zero oh, four zeros one okay for in all replicas in a, a all ag2s and distributed okay come to here so this is we need to so now what we need to do here is open new query and node 3 here write down your global primary instance name node 3 here node 1 change it come to query and select the SQL mode click execute see the large station in the primary global primary availability group and the secondary availability group in of primary is same okay it means we are we are good to failover if it is not at failover we need to wait for some time to get this did sync or we need to stop the applications and everything to make the lsn to be same okay uh, that is one thing thus now we need to run this command in the node which is global primary in this case node 3 is a global primary right so now i'm taking a fresh connection okay so here type distribute dag so i am telling the distributor availability group go and take the secondary role click execute this was done now so availability has to be role has to be run in the uh, node one why because now i want to turn this okay into global primary distribute dag so click execute yeah it was done see uh, ag1 is secondary right now it has to become primary go on select and refresh primary here okay so here done see ag1 is primary so it will take time here uh, to get synchronous and everything okay and don't no need to worry at all okay it will take time to uh, become ag secondary okay now yeah see ag2 has became online now go to node 3 refresh the instance see ag2 as a secondary previously it was like second no, primary so this is how you need to failover once you do failover we need to change um, to asynchronous commit mode why because we are transferring the data centers right distributed uh, data center so now go to new query here type a here i a execute i have changed it now go to node yeah I have done so I have changed the synchronous, synchronous commit mode to asynchronous commit for distributed AG okay so so this is how you need to fail over the distributed availability group from one data center to another data center 
so technically to make you understand very easy i am naming calling it as a data center okay so i think this is my first video in coming to in video blog on this and uh, so i'm going to paste these both links and uh, just watch it and implement the same and just comment it how it is useful to you i hope you may like this video thank you